Okay, it is time to let's try it. And Gail and I are at a brand new, not even yet open, a coffee and ice cream parlor. But there's a twist. The twist is some of the ice cream is flavored with something very special. Liqueur. Liqueur. So it's called Beans and Barler instead of a parlor, an ice cream parlor. And I'm here with uh, Story Stewart, and she is going to walk us through some of their uh, kind of cocktails that you can make with the alcoholic ice cream or without. Yes, absolutely. So I'm going to have you start with our signature creme brulee cappuccino. Okay. And you'll just dust the sugar over the top. This is a really fun coffee. It is available in both alcoholic and non-alcoholic and it's just so much fun. We like transforming the experience of traditional things like desserts and cocktails and turning it into a twist where it's familiar but a different experience consuming it. Like this creme brulee, you're having the experience of eating a creme brulee for dessert, but really you're starting your morning off with a creme brulee coffee. So when are you opening? We are opening on the 27th of July. And what do you hope people know about this place? We are um, really proud to be making all of our ice cream, both alcoholic and non-alcoholic in-house. And um, we'll be open all hours of the day, basically, um, 7.30 on the weekdays and uh, open until midnight on the weekends. We wanna be a really fun after dinner place, great place for families to come and have a milkshake and some small bites and great beer and um, really just be a comfortable place for people to enjoy. I'm going to let you handle the blowtorch. The story, story is letting us turn on yes. the blowtorch. There it is. Oh. All right. Okay, so she told me that I turn my hand parallel and that is perfect. Melt the top of this sugar so that when you have your cappuccino, you have to break the top of it off. Oh my goodness. And don't you wish this was smell vision because it starts oh. to have this like amazing creme brulee smell to it. Oh. So this has cappuccino and sugar, two of my favorite things. Yes, and the non-alcoholic has our house-made vanilla bean syrup, and the alcoholic version would have an Irish cream, coffee liqueur, and vodka. Okay, All so right. we'll let that sit, and then we'll yes. try that. Yes. So next does have some alcoholic, kind oh, of boozy yeah. ice cream to it. Yes. So tell us what this is. So this is our play on tiramisu. What you're going to do is pour the warm espresso over our lady fingers. Oh yeah. Mm, soak that in good. Yes. You'll All give right. that a little stir around. All right, Gail. And then you want me to scoop some ice cream in? Yes. Oh, so okay. first will come a couple lady fingers. Put it in the bottom here. Yes. Oh my gosh. And then tell us what kind of ice cream this is. So this is a homemade mascarpone amaretto alcoholic ice cream. And then we'll add more of the espresso soaked lady fingers. And this is a great uh, mixture of hot and cold. And so it has amaretto in the ice cream. What is that? Um, yes, so it is um, blended with amaretto and vodka. All of our flavors, we um, really spent a lot of time working on making as boozy as possible. <laughs> of course, it's a challenge right. um, freezing anything with alcohol in it, but we have a process that allows us to incorporate a good amount. It's all natural. I mean, all it's natural. all made in house. Yes, yes. Very simple ingredients. I'm so lucky, One more right? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> this looks amazing. That is absolutely beautiful. Nice job, Gail. Oh, and then a little bit of cocoa. Yes. Perfect. That's a lot of cocoa, but that's all right. Oh, <laughs> the more right, chocolate, the better. So then. The final thing you have yes, this, is amazing. This is amazing. This is something that I fantasized about for a while. As a child, you, you watch Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory, and there's a part where Gene Wilder sits in his factory, and he has a tulip cup, and he drinks out of it, and then he takes a bite. And I've imagined being able to eat the dishes my entire life. So when we came up with this, we thought this would be a perfect um, chocolate sensation. So what you're going to scoop in, two good scoops in there, is our chocolate chocolate liqueur ice cream. Oh, oh my goodness. It fits in there perfectly. Yes. So you could eat the ice cream. And the cup. And the yes. cup. And the saucer. So at, everything about this is edible. The saucer is chocolate, the spoon is chocolate, and the cup. All right, so I'm having the tiramisu. I'm having the Willy Wonka special. That's what I'm calling it anyways. 
Mm. It really is so delicious. I'm taking some of yours. Thank you so much for giving Thank us, you for as you said, the inside scoop, the right? The inside scoop. So Beans and Barler on First <laughs> Avenue in St. Petersburg opens on the 27th. You're going to love it. Make today great. We'll be right back. Mm. Oh, that's so good.